what factors would tweak those the numbers you've already given me up or down or what would be the dominant factors which might influence that where you go whoa okay here was our original thing here's how long it's going to take because we learned x y or z right so the fact is that influence that for me and i think i've already alluded to them number one is data and technology so my accelerated program only works when we're working with the right tech partner like a team for you where we've we we do the, the baseline assessment and we've got ongoing access to employee data and reports and and we can drill down exactly mm -hmm. where the problems are um so if we remove the tech and the data immediately it's going to impact how long this is going to take us because it removes a crucial diagnostic tool first and foremost and then furthermore it removes um the employee listening and the ongoing engagement and culture monitoring aspect of things the other problem if we remove the technology layer from from this um equation is we lose access to the accelerator ability that the tech has got um, from an engagement and a, a public recognition and appreciation perspective. So when people feel more recognized and appreciated, it has a direct positive impact on their levels of engagement and performance. So if we take that away, um, it's going to take us longer to build that up through old school means with our technology and to build it up organically and to gain traction and you know mass mass adoption so if mm -hmm. we remove the tech the tech and the data that's my biggest problem or my biggest fear and then i can't i can't do the work that i do in 90 days the other things if they are not in place that will will snooker us um ultimately are the other the other pillars that we need to be in place so one of them being performance management um if performance management is not ongoing in other words if you're going to continue to only do once a year or twice a year kind of appraisal this isn't going to work if your appraisals are going to continue to be based only on quantitative things how much of what by when, instead of also incorporating qualitative things like relationships, psychological safety, you know, if it's just going to be about what you do and not also how you do it, it's going to delay because performance management is a lever that we can use to reinforce the culture that we're trying to create. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that we need to be in place is the leadership development and coaching. If we remove the, the personalized leadership development and coaching, and we want a one size fits all thing, again, it's going to extend the duration of the transformation pro program, because instead of deploying what is needed where it's needed, we're now having to get everyone to go through a massive leadership development program and cover mm -hmm. modules that they possibly don't need. Mm -hmm. And that's going to cost you extra time, extra money, um, and it's going to delay the entire project. So I think if I had to really whittle it down to three main things that we need to be in place, um, if we remove those factors, of course, the management leadership buy-in is, is crucial. You know, if it turns out that that changes, then that's also going to have a negative effect. Um, but the three main things that we need to work miracles in 90 days is we need the data and the tech. Um, that for me is one thing. And then we need um, performance management and we need leadership development to be personalized. And we need those to work together because with the performance management and the leadership development, the public recognition and appreciation, we're reinforcing the behaviors that we want to see. And mm -hmm. we are discouraging the behaviors that got us in trouble in the first place. 